In today's video, we're going to be looking at trigonometry. So we're going to start from the very beginning and look at how we can use trigonometry to find out unknown lengths. The only thing you've got to be aware of when you use trigonometry is that we're talking about right angled triangle, such as the one we have here. In order to use trigonometry, in order to work out these unknown lengths, we need to label the various sides of the triangle. So you'll always be given something which looks like this. You'll have an angle, you'll have a length, and you need to find something out. So we call the side that is closest to the angle the adjacent side because adjacent means next to. The hypotenuse is always the longest length of the triangle and it's always, always, always opposite the right angle, which is why I'm going to label this side here the hypotenuse. And then the one left over is the opposite. And you'll see that this is indeed opposite the angle, but for me, I just always fill it in as the third one because I find the other two sides easier to place. When we're looking at trigonometry, it's so important that you know all about tan, cos, and sine, because these are all functions you're going to use in your calculator in order to find out these unknown angles and lengths. And for me, the easiest way to remember this is by writing soca toa. Lots of teachers have different ways of getting you guys to remember this, but for me, Sokotoa is the easiest thing to remember and you should write this down every time you have a trig question. So what does it actually mean? Well, let's write it out in full. So means sine x equals O over H. So you get the last two letters and you put them over each other. Let's do the same now with cos. Cos x equals this time A over h, so that middle letter is divided by the last letter, and then lastly, tan x equals o over a, and you've got to make sure you get everything the right way round. If you get it the wrong way round, you won't get the question right. So these right here are what you need to remember, and Sokotoa is the way in which you remember the order. So let's go ahead now and answer this question. In order to approach answering the question, you need to work out what information you have. So we're after x, so we know we've got an opposite, We've been given information about the hypotenuse, so that is O and H. Have a look at these three along here and see which of the three combines O and H, and you can see that that is sine x. So we rewrite it under here, sine x equals O over H, and it's always good to show your method. And then you replace x with the angle you've been given, so that becomes sine 38 equals, we're looking for O, and we've got H. How do you stop x being divided by 4? Well, you times both sides by 4. So it becomes 4 sine 38 equals x. And then plug that into your calculator, and you'll get a value which is x equals 2.46 centimetres to three significant figures. So this time we're finding the missing length marked y. So the very first thing you want to do is label the various sides. So let's start by labelling the adjacent, which is the side closest to the angle. Then we're going to label the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle, it's the longest length. And that means that this one is the opposite. I'm going to write out my rule, which is Sokotoa, and write out what each of those means. So sine x according to SOA is O over H. Ka means that cos x is A over H. Toa means that tan x is O over A. And let's identify what we have. Well, we've been given an opposite and we're looking for the hypotenuse. So we're after O and H again, which is sine X. Let's substitute in what we know. So the angle we've been given is 58. O is 7.5 and this time we're after H. So I'm gonna assign that X. How do we get X by itself? Well, you cross multiply. So you bring the X up to here and replace it with the sine 58. And once you pop that into your calculator, you get a value which is 8.84 centimeters to three significant figures. This time we're looking for the missing length P. So again, start by labeling your sides that the side closest to the angle will be the adjacent side. The side opposite the right angle, the longest side will be the hypotenuse, which means that the last side will be the opposite. Writing out our rules, Sokotoa, whereby sine x equals O over H, cos x equals A over H, tan x 
equals O over A. Let's have a look at what we've got. Well, we've got the adjacent length. We're after the hypotenuse. So we're looking for the rule with A and H in it, which is cos X. So therefore, cos X, 41 degrees is the angle we've been given. A, we know from the labeling is 5.1. We're after H, so I'm going to call that X. In order to get x by itself, we cross multiply to get 5.1 over cos 41. Put that into your calculator and you get a value for x, which is 6.76 centimetres to three significant figures.